Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Firefighters and their devotion to saving lives and property are oftentimes not given the appreciation or the recognition that they deserve. Too often we take the sacrifices that they make for our community for granted. Well, this weekend you're going to have a chance to visit the Firehouse Museum and give back a little to the firefighters. Firehouse number three will have its grand opening on Saturday. This is one of the oldest firehouses in the state of Florida, and it has so much history in it. Alex, thank you for being back on the show with me this morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, Alex, I know that this Firehouse Museum, this is your baby because you have been with the station for a long time. Oh, yes. Uh, I started back in 1992 when I did a feasibility study with the city. And um, then, of course, when the station became vacated in 1998 after her, well, actually a day before Hurricane George, um, we were able to apply, start applying for grants. And construction started after that. And so I guess I've been 21 years altogether, but 15 years actually active with the firehouse. Well, you made it your goal to keep it up and running. And now this weekend, I know you have to be so enthusiastic because we have the grand opening of the museum. Oh, yes, enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the word, but <laughs> finally, finally. Finally. Relieved. Relieved, yes. <laughs> yes, it's been uh, lots of hurdles to go through, a lot of hoops to jump through to get where we are today. Mm -hmm. What's one of the biggest obstacles you've had to jump through, Alex, to get to where you are? Oh, God. Yes. There's been a few. I mean, it's you, when you're dealing with the state, you're mm -hmm. dealing with the city, you're dealing with the county sometimes. I mean, there's things that you don't foresee that come up. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been trying to do this opening now for the last couple of Januarys, and every time we get ready to do it, something comes up where well, we can't do it. Mm -hmm. So this time, it's going to be a go. So. It's, it's happening. And now, Alex, I haven't been to the museum yet. What would I see there if I go? Well, at the museum, other than the usual, we have a 1929 American France fire engine, and we have badges and you know helmets and stuff like that. But we also have some exhibits that you won't find in other fire museums. We have the uh, a coal pit that was used for the horse-drawn uh, steam fire engines. That I think there's only like maybe a handful remaining in the whole country. We've been trying to find out some more information about that. And then of course we have our Cuban collection, which has Cuban badges and patches and stuff. Which I guarantee you, there if any fire museum in the country has that, I'd be very surprised. Then we have a cigar, uh, a cigar exhibit, which uh, I tried to make the connection between the cigar industry and fires and how it affected the community through the years. So we have that. And then, of course, we have the Bumfarthur collection, mm -hmm. the, our chief from 1964 to 75, who disappeared um, 37 years ago next month really? um, on the, when he was gone for the sentencing in Miami uh, on drug charges. He disappeared. So we have a collection of his stuff because he, he's become like a legend now. Yeah, he's a, it sounds like a very interesting man. Oh, yes. He's <laughs> his character. And there's been no trace of him since no he No trace. I mean, people have talked about, you know, citing him in Costa Rica years ago and other places, but nobody ever proved it. So mm -hmm. he's become like a legend. Okay. Now, Alex, how often is the museum going to be open to the public? Uh, the museum, we're going to start off easy. We're going to probably do five days a week, uh, Tuesday through Saturday from, say, 10 till 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. And admission charges? Admission charges, uh, probably we're going to start off with either 8 or $10, but locals will get half price, seniors half price, firefighters and families half price, mm -hmm. and um, children under 12 free. Okay, well, it sounds like that will definitely be worth it because you have some artifacts that, like you mentioned, you won't find in other firehouses Correct. around the country. And then this weekend, this Saturday, your grand opening, what are the times that people can come? Uh, it's going to be between 6 and 9 this weekend, so everybody come out and join us to celebrate the grand opening. Okay, well, I know you will be there with bells on, right, Alex? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but, uh, <laughs> but they can check out the website. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's on the screen. Right? Okay. And uh, yeah. if they want to you know, contact us about donations or things for the silent auction mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay, yes, okay. everybody can check out the website or shoot Alex an email with the address that you see on the bottom of the screen. Alex, thank you for being on well, the show. Thank you for having me on the show. It's a <laughs> pleasure. And for all your dedication to preserving the museum, you've done a great, great job. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.